Hello and welcome to the Darby Creek Diaries. I'm Gail Thompson and I'm so happy to be part of the Lawn Fawn Fan Fall Hop. Boy, I can't say that three times. And if you're watching on October 3rd, happy World Card Making Day. Let's get right into our project and I'll talk about the hop in a minute. This is what we're going to make today. This is the Snow Much Fun uh, stamp and die set from Lawn Fawn's latest release. There's a piece out of the die set that also goes with this slider, waving slider card. And I'm just showing you how the mechanism gets put together just real quick with these little pieces. And they're going to make other uh, sets that will go with this. And see how the little bear waves? So cute. So we're going to start off with a piece of glitter card stock. I think this is Simon Says Stamp, but I'm not sure. And I'm just going to glue it on to my, it's not a card base, it's just a panel right now. And this is going to have a few layers. And then I wanted to put some color on it, so I'm temporarily adhering this top layer, but I'm not, I'm just using temporary adhesive just to make sure I have things lined up correctly. And I'm eyeballing it because you know me. Now this is the top pull tab and we're going to cut out a notch for that and then lay in this little uh, stencil little piece there and then line up the two little holes that we'll need in the middle that I'll show you later. And then we run it through the die cutter. And I ran this through my Gemini Junior, and this is an awful lot of layers to expect it to, to go through, but did a pretty good job. You want to be careful with that purple tape, even though I took the sticky off. The Gemini smashes things down pretty good. So there's our notch, and there are two little pieces in the middle. So I'm going to take off that cover piece and I'm going to get the holes picked back out of the, because it just, I'm just going to uh, puzzle piece back in the die and cut through the other layer. That's the best way to make sure that your positioning is the same. So I'm care I don't have to be that careful. We're covering it anyway, but now those little, I guess, chads pop right out. Now here is our mechanism piece and you want to even have it even with the top of the card and then there's a little kind of an instructional little thing with the arrow and you can make it decorative and I'm just going to glue that on. Super easy. This is, this is one of the easier contraptions to build. Uh, I get a little frustrated when there's a billion little pieces, but this, this is pretty simple. Now there's, a, you use a tiny brad and you poke it through the back of the hole that's already provided. And you're going to stick the arms of your bear with the X's side up on the top. And I already did this bear because I'll do polar bears all day long. They're real easy to color. And I'm just going to close the brad. And there is our mechanism. Now we need to stick the bear's arms through so we can get up the lay of the land here. Get things lined up. Yep, he's a waving. And now there is this little piece. It's kind of a uh, holder piece. And you glue this on and it keeps everything straight. And you put it just below the stopper pieces that stick out below the notch. Just use a real strong adhesive. This is art glitter glue. And I like it a lot. I use it a lot. And just position it so we can keep it straight. I, I would call it a keeper because that's what we do with saddles. You know, you've got the keepers for the belts and things. So that's what I'm going to call it. And I'll just hold this for a second, give it a chance to dry. And then I'm thinking that's a little long to be flopping around. So I just cut it off because I figure the less weight down there, maybe it would help. I don't know. Now I'm going to 
resize everything again here. I'm going to put my cover piece back on because I've got to make sure things are lined up. And I had an old die cut of the the, ain't the snow angel part and I'm trying to get this figured out and I'm messing around, messing around. Then I decided why don't I just use the outline of this because it's just a placekeeper anyway. And bingo! Put his little arms in and it's much easier to figure out where I want to put our little angel part, our little, I guess our snow. And I'm just taking a pencil and lightly drawing around this and I'm going to pull everything apart again. And there's where I marked it. I'm going to lay the snow angel part on there, get her lined up and run her through the Gemini Junior. Now we have our cover piece. So I'm lining it back up. Sorry, that's a little off camera. And I'm eyeballing because you know I don't like to measure. So I'm going to glue this on. I hope all of you are doing well. And I'd really be interested in the comments if you'd let me know if you're you're actually making Christmas cards. This is a little early for me, but it's how things roll in this industry. You got to stay, uh, you know, give everybody time to see this so they can decide whether they want to do something like this. I'm just going to adhere the bear on with a little bit of foam tape. And what a cute little bear. I hope you will consider subscribing too. I would love to have you go through my playlist. There are just dozens and dozens of different techniques there. Now I'm putting on his little scarf. Very easy coloring. That's why I don't do it in front of you. I'm not the best at that, so I wouldn't waste your time. I'm using Zig two-way glue pen. And I'm going to put on Wow Puff Embossing Powder. I have a VersaFine marker, but it was getting a little dry, so I thought I would just do the glue. You could use water on some things, not this. As long as the embossing powder will stick and you get it heated, it will be fine. I thought I'd cover up the sticky part because I didn't want my bear in the way. And I had my heat gun good and hot before I took it to the papers because I would, didn't want to risk burning anything, warping the paper. I still wind up catching the top there a little bit. Now I'm using the Lawn Fawn Prisma Glitter. It's very, very sparkly. It's very, very pretty. And I wind up wearing it well all over my pants and the floor and the desk. But I'm lining all the parts where you could see some of that other cardstock. And although this glue does dry clear. And I'm going to just dump this glitter on. And it's really hard to tell in all the photos and stuff. But if you have it in the light, in real life, it is just so pretty. Especially with the glitter cardstock. Now I put some foam tape on the back and that's how it's all lined up. And I'm going to line it onto my card base. And then I begin to think, huh, I'm, I'm opening this and, and it looks real cute. And I like the little puffy embroider paste. And I, I'm putting on my sentiment that I already had prepared to save some time. I'm doing all this. And if you saw the little note up above, I didn't do the notch for the card base. And it makes it a little harder to do the pull tab. But I'm just going away with my big old snowflake sleek sequins. Snowflake sequins from Hero Arts, one of their kits from years ago. And some pearls, Arctic pearls from Studio Cotti, I believe. All the supplies will be listed below that I can list. 
I put some substitute snowflakes there, I think from Pretty Pink Posh for you too. And so here's some more Arctic Burst, Arctic Blast Pearls or something like that. And I'm using more of my glitter glue, a little dabble do ya. But I tended to smear it a little, so I spend a couple minutes. It, when it dries though, the, it dries clear, but if it's messing up with your shiny metal, you can just wipe it off with your finger, which is what I wind up doing. And there's the finished card. Now here's where I realize, oops, the pull tab. It's not stuck, but it's kind of weird. Fixed it. I hope you enjoyed this card and I hope you will go to the description box and catch the next hopper. And this is sponsored by Cat Scrappiness. The details will also be below for a gift card drawing. I hope that you will check me out on all the social media, subscribe, and come back and see me soon. Here are some other videos and playlists I think you'll be interested in. I hope so. Take care and have a great week. Bye-bye.